Hi everyone, Radhi Radhi. So in this uh, video, we're going to be doing chapter 10, verse 19. I am doing a bunch of them together because I'm going to be missing five days when I'm going to Sadhu Sangha, uh, the retreat that happens in Dallas, that is happening in Dallas this year, but it happens somewhere in the U.S., across the U.S. every year. So I'm going to be gone from Friday to Tuesday. Um, it's from Friday till Monday. I'm coming back on Tuesday. So, yeah, I'm trying to do as many as I can to catch up for the future. And then I'll come back and I'll start again, continue to catch up from the past because I'd missed two months in the past as well. Um, yeah, so but it's this is really good because I'm enjoying reading this. These verses are very nice and they're very sweet. And this one, um, Bhagwan has started to speak again. So Arjun asked the questions. Can you please uh, show me your opal? Tell me about your opulences. I'm not I'm not satiated hearing of them. I'm just like I want to hear more and more. So Bhagwan starts speaking now. And uh, the very first verse, he's. This is his very first verse when he's starting to speak. Okay, so let's sing the verse together. Shri Bhagavan Vacha Hanta Te Katha Yeshyami Devya Hyatma Vibhutayaha Pradhanyataha Kurukshreshtha Nastyanto Vestarasyame this one was the hardest word. I practiced this so many times. Kurukshreshtha. It's not Kurukshreshtha. It's Kurukshreshtha. <laughs> Shreshtha means the maximum, the, the most. Um, like Param, I suppose. Okay, the translation is Shreshtha. Let's see. Uh, best of, like the most, the best of guru, Gurus. Um, Sri Bhagwan said, Supreme Personality of God had said, Yes, I will tell you of my splendorous manifestations, but only of those which are prominent, O Arjun, for my opulence is limitless. Um, and he's calling him Kurukshreshtha. I keep saying Kurukshreshtha. It's Kurukshreshtha. Such a tongue twister. Okay, so it is not possible to comprehend the greatness of Krishna because it's unlimited and we are limited. Whether we're in material world or whether we go back to the spiritual world, we're still limited. We're finite. He's infinite. Um, so the very, but the um, topic is of Krishna is relishable that we um, think of them, we feel of them as nectar. Um, so we can just keep um, speaking. We're, we're, okay. So, yeah, he knows that living entities do not understand the extent of his opulences. Therefore, he agrees to state only the principal manifestations of his different energies. Pradhyanyataha, the principle is important because we can only understand a few of the principal details. It's not possible to understand all of them. And Vibhuti here, both of them speak about this. Vibhuti is the opulences by which he controls the whole manifestation. In the Amar Kosha dictionary, it indicates an exceptional opulence. Um, here he also says this in the Amar Kosha dictionary, ancient Sanskrit dictionary, Vibhuti is Vibhutir Bhutir Aishwaryam, power and wealth. God's power and wealth are unlimited. Everything about him is unlimited. <laughs> Names, abodes, dissensions, pastimes, devotees, all that. Anant, devotee is also unlimited. Okay. Uh, okay. And that confused me. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this verse. We will start to hear more about uh, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking about his own opulences from the next verse on. Uh, wish you a day filled with lots of spiritual growth and lots of spiritual realizations and wish Bhagavan Sri Krishna and Radharani's grace um, and mercy on to you. Um, wish you a beautiful day. Radhe Radhe.